Hello everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I wanna to talk to you about fragrances that will be great for returning back to the office. You know, as you know, <laughs> um, some workers have been able to return back to the office. So we all know that the past few years have been a very crazy. However, a lot of people are starting to go back to the office and um, I just have some great fragrances that are um, inoffensive that I think um, you should go ahead and try out. So if you are interested in hearing what I have to say, please stay tuned. Also, don't forget to like and comment on this video and also subscribe to my channel. I would be so grateful to have you here. All right? Okay, you guys. So I've kind of broken down um, these fragrances into about four different categories. Three, four. I have five categories of fragrances that will be great to go to work with. <laughs> So we have your freshies, we have your musky fragrances, we have rose, uh, floral fragrances, um, lactonic fragrances, and also some fruity fragrances for you. So when I was picking out these fragrances, um, I wanted to make sure these are fragrances that were inoffensive to others. And I, in the workspace, of course, because you know, you're in close proximity to people that you work with, whether it's cubicle or what have you, you're still, if you're in a meeting, people are always gonna be near you in some shape or, or some shape or fashion. So um, I wanted to make sure that they were inoffensive and I also wanted to make sure that they lasted you a long time. You know, when you're at work, you're not thinking about your fragrances, you're thinking about what your task is at hand at the moment. And so, yeah, fragrances is not something that you should have to worry about when you're at the workplace. You don't have to top it off or anything. So I wanted these fragrances to be able to last you um, throughout the entire workday. These fragrances are tried and true. These fragrances last for a really long time. All right, so at first I wanna go over fresh fragrances. I'm gonna start off with a Drop Delicy by Isimiyaki, y'all. This is a beautiful, fresh, fresh fragrance. Like, there's also a water note in here. Y'all, there's water notes and there's damask rose in here. So even though this is a freshie, this is also very, very feminine. Oh my gosh. Mm. There's a sweet note in there in the background. And I'm trying to figure out what it is. So we have watery notes, lilac, damask rose, dreamwood, Virginia cedar, and Ambrox super. This fragrance doesn't smell synthetic at all. And the fact that there's a note in there that has a rain, that is rainwater, this smells like rainwater. With a touch of sweet damask rose. Yeah, this is a beautiful fragrance. And um, Isimiyaki's fragrances, they last all day so you guys and this this is under 100 if i'm not mistaken yeah it's under 100 doesn't break the bank it's gonna last you all day and yeah this will offend nobody okay up next um i want to talk about my favorite freshie my favorite powdery freshie blank pool this is blank poudre by healy perfumes y'all this is a baby powder fragrance I'm running out of space here. Got a lot of fragrances to talk to you about. Oh my gosh. This is a sweet, powdery fragrance that lasts all day. I remember um, I went away on a weekend trip at a friend's house and then even a couple days after i left they were like oh your fragrance is still on the, your fragrance is still on the sheets this was the main um fragrance that i wore um when i was on that trip this fragrance is so beautiful you guys this is the perfect and it's it's like it is a sweet powdery fragrance but it's not too baby powderish you know it does have that makeup makeup um kind of powder in there but there's nothing chemically or or anything that I can that any the average person would not be able to tolerate in this fragrance. Yeah, this I would say is a crowd pleasing um, uh, powdery scent. So you guys definitely check this out. Okay. Up next, I want to talk about uh, our musky fragrances. I think this is 
probably the largest um, section here. So let's start off with, oh, oh. Uh, Juliet has a gun, not a perfume super dose. So I've gotten plenty of comments, <laughs> I mean plenty of uh, compliments on this fragrance right here. So this definitely has a synthetic note in there. This is unisex. This is you. This is this. Is, this will be great on a man or a woman. However, um, I think it leans more feminine. That's why I have it because I don't mess around with masculine fragrances. Y'all already know. So, but yeah, this is just a beautiful synthetic um, fragrance. Like, I mean, I can't really describe it because it is synthetic. It's a like a molecule, but it's a fresh, airy musk. It's almost like I can smell there, there, there being cotton in here. Yeah, it smells like there's cotton in here. But yeah, yeah, this is very fresh, very fresh and musky. And um, this will offend no one at the workplace. Up next we have Andromeda by Tiziana Terenzi, y'all. I always have issues with these big old heavy caps. Like, they're beautiful, but I don't think they're that user friendly. The other one that I have like doesn't even stay on right. But anyways, let's get to the fragrance. <laughs> yes, this is a beautiful peach musky fragrance. It's perfect for spring and for summertime. This will last you all day and it projects very strongly. I would say out of all the fragrances, the musky fragrances that I've mentioned thus far, this is the strongest one. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong. Um, Tiziana Terenzi has like a, um, a specific DNA in her fragrances where all her musks, they smell similar, but it's just so beautiful. It's so beautifully done. Check out Andromeda, you guys. Up next we have Thamin Peregrina. Y'all, I smelled this. The first time I smelled this, I fell in love. And I, I got the sample, and then I ended up going into a, a perfume store that actually had the whole line. I smelled the whole line, and I still wanted to get this one in particular, the Peregrina. Gosh, let me spray this on me. So this is definitely a unisex fragrance. There's like some woodiness, some amber, some rose, some oud. But it's not too oudy, y'all. This this is just such a beautiful fragrance and I can't see anyone um, being offended by this. Now this is strong and it does last a long time. You don't have to overspray with this. You can just spray like, like one, two, one, two times, maximum four, you know what I'm saying? if you think you're bad <laughs> maximum four times and you are good okay up next we have um twilly de hermes ou ginger y'all as you can see this is one of my favorites because it's almost done and i stopped using it because it's almost done it's okay it's okay so but yeah i mean There's something about this fragrance. Like even though there's ginger in there, there's something so soft and feminine about this fragrance and fresh about this fragrance that I can't quite put my finger on it. But golly, I mean, this is a, a compliment magnet, you know? And I will be definitely getting another bottle. Yeah, this is a beautiful, fresh, musky ginger fragrance. Goes for every day. All right, last but not least with the musky fragrances, we have Violet Musk by Ajmal. And again, this is your straightforward Violet Musk fragrance. It lasts all day, all day. The projection is strong. So this, you don't have to overspray too much as well. I think maximum four times is good for this one as well. Hmm. And there's, a lact there's something lactonic in the background. So up front, I smell the violet, then the musk, and then the lactonic background. That's the order of what I'm inhaling right now. There's a there's some powderiness in this as well, y'all. This is so pretty. This is so pretty, and it's um quite inexpensive. Yeah. 
up next, you guys, I want to talk about platonic fragrances for the workplace. Um, this particular note, I feel like, will leave people guessing. Like, who smells so good? What 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 is that? Because I don't feel like a platonic note is that common. Um, when it comes to fragrances, especially people who are in the workplace that, that are not um, familiar with fragrances, they're gonna be just like, oh my gosh, it smells so, they're, they're gonna be like, this smells different, but so good. And I have three fragrances that I wanna bring to you guys um, in regards to that. So the first one here is, again, Isimiyaki's A Drop de Lissy, but this is, um, let me see now, because we have A Drop de Lissy, and this is also A Drop de Lissy, but this is, why do they do this? Okay, so this is the EDP, the Adroptilisi um, Freiche, and this is just Adroptilisi. So um, this has almond milk in it, y'all. This is, dare I say, I would say that this is my second most favorite electronic fragrance, other than Blanche Bet, which we'll get to. This is my second most. Like tonic, uh, favorite Lactonic fragrance. It is a beautiful almond milk fragrance, y'all, and it will last you all day. Again, does not break the bank. There's a freshness in here as well. This is this can also be unisex. It's not just feminine. Oh my gosh. Yeah. This is so beautiful. This is so beautiful. Um, yeah, definitely check this out. As you can see, I've been wearing this bad boy. Mm-hmm. I've been wearing it. I've been wearing it. Up next, I have Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. This is the original. I'm up to here in the shoe right now. I think this is the five ounce. Let me see, is this the five ounce? I don't know. I think this is the five ounce. <laughs> Big old foot. <laughs> so yeah, this to me is a coconut creamy fragrance. And this will last you all day. And a lot of people say they don't care for this fragrance and I can't, I, I don't understand why. This is the original. This has lactonic notes in here. Some fruity notes, some coconut. Like that's, I'm getting a creamy, fruity coconut um, scent when I when I smell this fragrance. Um, yeah, I don't, I love this fragrance and I will definitely always have it in my collection. Yep, I'm up to here. I think I'm doing pretty decent on it. Um, but yeah, check this out. This is Good Girl by Carolina Herrera. Up next, we have Blanche Bet by Liquid Imaginaire. This is my baby, baby. And it's up to here, so I'm trying to savor it. But this is your magical, lactonic fragrance. There's a mystery note in here. Don't know what it is. They won't tell us, but it's okay. I don't need to know. It's, it's, it's a cotton, a, a lactonic cotton candy almost. It's, yeah, that's what it is. Lactonic cotton candy and some coconut. Now I'm telling y'all, I'm telling you guys what I smell. It doesn't necessarily mean that those are the notes that are in here, but this is what I smell when I get these fragrances, when I spray them. This is so beautiful. This is my top Lactonic fragrance. And number two is a Drop Delicy by Issey Miyake, y'all. I think you need both, but if you wanna decide which to get as far as um, what it will be easier on your pockets, of course, the Issey Miyake one's gonna be cheaper, but both of these will last you a long time. Both of them are worth what they charge, okay? Up next, I wanna talk about uh, rose and floral fragrances for the workplace. So I have here Rose Load by Boy Smells. This is your straightforward, aromatic, musky rose. This is a very feminine fragrance. I always cannot find the nozzle. Hmm. 
It's a it's a powdery rose, not a musky rose. It's a powdery rose, and I can't get enough. I cannot get enough. This smells like a classic rose perfume. It really does, and this lasts all day. Up next is the infamous Amage's Amage Guidance, and y'all, this is. I kind of have a love hate with this fragrance or a love dislike with this fragrance. Sometimes I really, really love it and sometimes I don't. If I knew I would feel this way, I probably wouldn't have purchased this, but I got it. Um, this maximum is two, maximum is two sprays. Not e even the potent ones, I would spray four times. This one spray two because it is so strong. Now this is a, an ambery, floral with some vanilla in the background that's what i get um it is definitely not for everyone it's definitely not for everyone however let me just show you um a dupe that you can use just in case if you don't want to spend 300 dollars and change on this one which is not worth it okay so this one is um eve rocher's cure de nuit this is a good dupe for your Amouage Guidance. The notes are not the same. However, they smell almost identical. Of course, this is gonna last longer. The dry down with this is more um, floral. This is more of a vanilla dry down. However, I mean, I really do feel like this gives Guidance a run for its money. It's, it's a bunch of money, all right? So yeah, but this is still good for the workplace. Um, it's inoffensive if you spray two times. If you spray more than two times, you are on your own, sister. You are on your own, all right? I told you, I warned you. Also, I have here Caboutines um, by De Caboutine by Degres. This is a beautiful, rosy, vanilla, ambery fragrance. I've worn count, I've gone through countless bottles of this, had, had countless um, compliments on this. This used to be my mother's fragrance as well. I can I can't spray it, but I can smell it. I can smell it. This will last you all day and night. Oh my gosh. There's such grace in this fragrance. There's oh, there's a powderiness in here too, but the vanilla and the amber infuse that powderiness. This is so beautiful. Check this out. And this is under 20 bucks, believe it or not. It's really good. Up next is your Guerlain, Mon Guerlain by Guerlain. Okay, so this y'all is, I think, this is the perfect uh, feminine everyday fragrance to wear, you know, and the workplace is no exception to the rule, okay, to the practice or whatever. Yes, yes. <laughs> this is your vanilla rosy type of fragrance with some amber in the base. Y'all, you cannot go wrong. You can't go wrong. You can't. I mean, this smells like a typical beautiful woman at the workplace. You literally smell beautiful with this fragrance. Up next, we have Gold Coast by Bond Number no. 9, y'all. So this is your beautiful aquatic watermelony rose fragrance. There's something about it that's just so fun. And there's something about, inhaling this makes me, it, 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 it quenches my thirst almost. This is such a beautiful um, rose fragrance and this is gonna work great in the summertime. So um, yeah, this is not offensive at all for the workplace. Um, so the girl that would be wearing this, she'd be in the office, chomping on her gum doing her work minding her business if you have a she but she knows everything though you got a question about something wrong with the system da da, da, da. go get so and so she comes over helps you at your desk five seconds later everything is fixed but but when she comes to your desk all you smell is this beautiful gold coast fragrance right here and some gum that's what that's what you smell. So that's this girl right here. <laughs> yeah, this is beautiful. Now, I got this from Joma Shop. Would I pay full price for it? Hell no. I don't know if I would ever pay full price for a Bond number nine, Bond number nine fragrance. I don't know if I ever would. 
no, no, but this is beautiful. Up next is Rose's Greedy by Mancera. So yeah, this is a strong projecting perfume. It lasts, I would say, um, six between six and seven hours. Um, this is a beautiful, musky, sweet rose. Beautiful musky sweet rose, and this uh, when I was when I smelled this at first, this was down the hall in the mall. That's how strong this was. So yeah, I mean, this is amazing. Spray it just a few times, maybe three or four times. Yeah, you can't go wrong. Last but not least, I want to talk to you guys really quickly about Deni De Delina <laughs> from Perfumes de Marley. This is your, this is the infamous ideal rose to wear, and I am in agreement with that. Perfect for the workplace, but um, here's the thing: I'm showing you Delina. I'm showing you um, Damine. I'm showing you Amouage Blanche Bat. These are fragrances that are over three hundred dollars. If I'm not mistaken. I think all of them are over 300. Now, it's up to you. If you want to wear them every day in the office, you could. These are just options for you. Delina, would I wear this to the office technically? No, because it's expensive. I'm going to wear your Twilly, your Violet uh, Musk, your Issy Miyake, your Juliet Has a Gun, your Mongerlan, that's what I'm gonna wear. I'm your Healy. I like. I'm not gonna wear crazy expensive uh, fragrances unless I feel like I want to. But knowing me, I would, you know, hold back a little bit. It's up to you though. It's your world. But yeah, this is your rhubarb um, rose sweet fragrance. What is what is the fruit that's in here? Gosh. I inhale this and I feel like I can't get enough. I feel like that when I inhale the um, uh, Ambrosia Imperial fragrance, that I get like that too. It's the gift that keeps on giving. Gosh, this is so beautiful. So beautiful. Last but not least, guys, I want to talk to you about fruity fragrances for the workplace. So first, let's talk about Mula Mula. This is a beautiful peach aromatic fragrance, you guys. I remember, so I wore this, I put this on, I think about seven or eight in the morning. 12 hours later, I was going through the drive-thru and the, the girl was like, oh my gosh, you smell so good. And I was like, oh, well, thank you. Mind you, I didn't touch up on my fragrance at all. And this was that fragrance. Mm, mm. <laughs> this smells like the ripest peach ready to eat, nice and juicy. That's what this is. Oh gosh, it's aromatic. There's a little musk in there too. But you guys, oh. It's so ripe and juicy, it almost smells like candy. Almost smells like candy. Yeah, check out your Mula Mula by Byron Perfumes. Next up is your Nishane's 100 Silent Ways. I got this from Joma Shop. I would not pay full price for this, however, this is a beautiful vanilla-ish fruity uh, fragrance. This is very sweet and very feminine. It's so beautiful and I'm so happy that I have it. I do smell like a, like something cotton candy-ish in the base, something really sweet, but y'all, this is gorgeous. This is definitely gorgeous. So yeah, um, check out 100 Silent Ways. Last but not least, y'all, is Mind Games by Kaisa. This is a musky, fruity fragrance. There's berries in here. There's also, I think it's Fugaset. You know that um, that that flour on the bread. Now the, the bread has already been baked in the oven, but there's still um, there's still some type of uh, uh, powder on on the bread. That's kind of what I smell in the in this in the beginning. Yeah, but it smells so sweet. It smells so sweet and. It's just, it's hard to describe the fact that they would actually put that in a fruity fragrance like this, but it smells gorgeous. This, I would say right now, is my favorite fruity fragrance. 
and it will last you all day. I have no regrets. I paid full price for this bad boy. I have no regrets. No regrets at all. Yeah. Kaisa by Mind Games. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for hanging in there and listening to all the fragrances that I feel would be great for the workplace. Let me know if you have any suggestions, if you'd like to add anything, like and comment on this video, you guys, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I am just so grateful for you guys that you actually tuned in to hear what I have to say. Until next time, you guys enjoy life and take care of yourself, okay? And I look forward to communicating with you guys in the comments, all right? Take care. Bye.